awesome. We have a lot more to come over the next hour and a half, two hours. Is it time for Miami? It is. We're playing some domination. And everybody, I want you to pay attention. We saw a little bit there in, uh, what, combat arms uh, on Armada. But the zones are a little bit different. It's just not a flag. It's really about a... a you know, a little bit of a bigger area that you're going to be fighting over, and I, and I like that a lot. So switching things up, but as you said, we're going to Miami. I cannot wait to see this map and mode and how it plays. Cho, I've never been more excited for anything in my entire life. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think good, right? Let's get into it, Joe. We're going to start off with Cesar Bueno. Yep. Skies, professional player for the Mutineers, is there getting ready to get Mutineer into the lobby, just looking through the create a class and score streaks to see what he wants to lock on up. XM4 out. And yeah, you can see, I know we've seen a couple looks at, but like the variety of attachments you're going to have for the different positions on the gun, the variety is going to be wild. He highlighted Ninja for a second. I want to see like what it went through exactly, but. So the, what I saw and what I read is that it, it quite, it, it quiets you when you were sprinting and how fast you like dampens the sound of it right okay. so i believe that you can walk and crouch and you will be completely silent but if you were sprinting you will still have some noise but it definitely quiets okay, cool. it interesting let me find out yeah he's going through everything well, this is the this, this is the best part when you play a new game, right? Just going through all the different features, all the different attachments, all the different perks, the weapons, it, checking it, it all out. It, and again, it, this isn't going to be everything that we see throughout Cold War. This is not going to be the full release. There's going to be more perks. There's going to be more weapons, more attachments. This, this looks like it could be out of like a Bad Boys film, like Miami. That's, like, well, yeah, I, that's where they do it. Is in Miami. Oh, that's a good point, Joe. Yeah, that's, See, that's why you're the you're the brains of this operation. You're the brains like, of this operation. That is actually where they shoot those. Okay, well, thanks, thanks for that, Joe. I'm Look at this, now. though. I'm fucking mad. I'm fucking mad, bro. It looks good. Motion blur. Motion blur. Motion blur. Tell myself. Motion blur. As uh, motion yeah. Uh, sky's low, not in. You're seeing the different parts. <laughs> you have in the middle of the street. You got the bar area. You have the pool. What well, you got the ocean. In a way, it's three lanes, but there's a lot of different areas that you can go to as well. Again, coming in and you see the different squads. Wait, that looks so much yeah, one side coming in through towards the boat, the other one through, towards the street. And yeah, that was dope. His domination loading on up. And is Sky's going to go for the objective? Is anyone going to go for the objective because I talked about it? And the answer is no. Nobody captures C. Enemy What's going on here, man? Uh, listen, they need you on the team. On the objective, dude. That is sometimes the most frustrating There's thing no about pups, you know, when like Ooh. you're frying, you're going nice. off, you've got 50 kills. You see somebody on your team, they've got three and no time in the objective. Like, help me out a little bit, but you gotta play both. You gotta focus on it all. You gotta be like LeBron. You know, you're getting the assists, the rebounds, <laughs> and the points. You're doing it all on the map, Joe. Yes. My Call of Duty play style is very similar to LeBron. Now that I think about it, Joe. Thanks for that compliment. You're one of the greatest players ever. <laughs> uh, well, see what well, Marksman I mean, could do is he's looking for the angles and well, you see the hip fire strong there. I was gonna say, I mean, you guys are both around that's the same slide, age so and you have the same accolades. That's true. Yeah. This line has some fucking it, naughty movement in this game, bro. It's like it is hot. I'll tell you what, I just keep th I keep thinking about that pool with how hot it's been in LA. It was like 110 oh, the other day. That pool looks just very comforting. <laughs> He sure Surprise. did. Surprise! <laughs> As again, you heard Marshman talk about it. A little bit of the nutty movement. I'm sure the devs are going to be paying attention. They'll get their feedback from all of these try, players. Trying to view Miami oh, and that's bit, where, I like, uh, there's, like, a couple but different skill gaps that, when you talk mean. about a game like Call of Duty. Like, is there the, oh, so the yeah, gun skill the part of it? Yes. And, you know, being able to shoot and becoming a better player from that regard. But it's like, once you get that down, the next step is really... That movement, right? Like becoming more fluid oh, shit, on the map, stars. finding Beam mechanics in the game that you can get a little bit of edge uh, over the competition. And yeah, now the movement could be nuts, and that'll be something we'll we'll keep an eye on. But over to Kat Connie, she's Ooh. looking to hit the shots. There's a little bit of a snapper. Hey, a nice Shh. snipe right there. She's looking over the beat zone right now. Has you know the what? shotgun in the back see, pocket. Kismet. Surprise! See, later, later. later. I would like to. Kismet is uh, Jericho. It's basically. It seems to be in almost uh, the same spot, just on opposite ends. As he's going to go for this B zone, play a little bit of objective. You and Jericho would get along well. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. But that you heard. Uh, I, I can't remember her name, but one of the one of the lead map designers kind of saying like, "I stay away from the middle, like yeah. the middle of the map. That is a sniper's haven. You, you kind of saw a bit of it there. Line. But uh, there are the alleyways yeah. that you can I mean, work the flank, different things that you can do on the map." 
Now you see in the top right, uh, attack chopper called in by Priesta. Like, we, he's like, doing his I thing. To pre -aim? I only know this room. Uh, yeah, well, I, I think you heard his press. Anyways, so we're talking about like the lighting. Said, like, I'm sure everything is going to be uh, get a little bit better. Right there. Well, full game release. And I think, I think Jericho's kind of talking about one of the more difficult things when you play a new map, right? Like figuring out where do I go? all the different angles, mastering the map, like where can people be L triggering and holding me in? But it's Ricky with some quality beams from the top balcony, able to dip away with his life as well and look to ruin a couple players' lives as well. And that's what uh, one of the, the biggest thing was from last year is load up on a map you didn't know. The mini map wasn't there, right? You're like, where it do I go? It makes it a little bit easier. Where right? do I go, easier. right? And they bring back this traditional Black Ops minimap that definitely you helps you out. Well, now on to Hutchie for his POV. He's, he's trying to get up close and personal and near that Dom point. But you can see, I mean, that that's typical of a lot of Dom maps. Like, B is a... He's a death trap. Like, like that is the hard thing point where point you have to work as a cohesive it's unit to try and get it in. If you're solo playing the objective like, on B, like much good luck because you've got a world star. And it looks like he has a smoke equipped. And one of the notes that we got was like the smokes were not you, like, strong in this well, Call of Duty, like a, maybe okay, compared like to, no, to some in the past. Fucking... Okay. How well we what got... is happening here? Priesta is, is in a, a gunship. Smoke him! Light it up! Chopper gunner. Okay, well, that guy got fried. Hit people marker, are just marker, getting, marker, getting, marker, getting, getting smoked and getting beamed. Kind of hard, actually. It looks like it's still pretty healthy, like, though. Yeah, how it goes. Wait, how cool is that? That you can see the lights from the map bouncing off the minigun in the yeah, chopper. Yeah, yeah, lighting has evolved over yeah. the, the last decade or so. That is absolutely for sure. But now, now you see a gorgeous see anyone, look, bro. gorgeous look. It kind of the entire map breakdown but yeah that's one like thing since this is a night map right Light like, it it's, up. it's gonna be, just start shooting it see, is there like a night vision that he can swap to i don't know maybe everybody's got like ghost or cold blooded yeah, right. on I, I don't know which <laughs> perk it is in this game but they're like oh we're not letting priest to do that i got Hutch, trying to hit the snipes i think you saw the type 821 out from priest as he was looking to get dirty with it Hutch his face. He he is locked in. Mm -hmm. Just a gamer. All right, halftime. Oh, it's not close, Joe. It's unfortunately. not. Um, it is not close. He's got a uh, 900. He's playing with Nick. He's got he's got Mud Dog on his team. He's got Courage. He's got a solid squad. Uh, Mud yeah, Dog. Mud Dog's bringing him down, Joe. Oh, I'm up scum stream, dude. Oh, this guy's cracked. <laughs> yeah. He's 21 and 2. Yeah, no, he has uh, been dominating lobbies, you, and you would expect that from one of the greatest players of all time. <laughs> but over to we Testament we go. Okay. We talked about his sniping prowess earlier, and he's going to have the sniper out as he's looking to line it up towards mid map. But yeah, I think, I think especially with it being a nighttime map, like learning the map, knowing the angles, going to be all that more important. But just aesthetically, you know what I mean? It's a sexy map. It is. I want to see what, like the one side. They, they were talking about when it had the developers on, like how you can kind of go underwater well, on the one side. I think it's right behind him. It is. It is. Yeah. But like it hasn't really seemed to be that much in play as of yet, at least with these guys. It looks guys. like Nick, Nick was in it. Well, no, that's not it. We love games. They, they're, they're sort of playing around it. But it looks like you can go sort of towards A, towards C. If you want to Ooh, switch that up. Right, Testy right. brings out that LW3, the Tundra. I like that. There are a few things more satisfying in any kind of FPS, but especially Call of Duty, with hitting snipes. Just hitting clean snipes. It feels good. We'll see what Hutch can do from the power position. Well, not going to matter from Priest's chopper over to Scump chopper. And Peep, this lobby is just getting melted. Just dominate them from the sky. Oh, kill after kill. We'll see a Mud Dog. Very good play. Doozy. Later, Courage. Jack. Everybody Not dropping. Yeah, and he's saying, he's like, just so you guys know, this isn't a pub lobby. I'm playing some talented players, and I am smoking. <laughs> this will be a, a nice YouTube video. Well, yeah, a lot of buildings. The the, the night cover of night as well. Ooh, if you can get them spawning oh, towards that beach oh, side, we'll see you later. Dog. Mud Dog's already dropped to this thing twice. They're probably holding the kill cam, too. They're full? like, we're not letting Scump do this to us. Yeah, yeah, I do believe they are losing full. Oh, that's swag as well. Yeah, it's been swag, courage, and Mud Dog have died like two or three times in a row. They're <laughs> on the beach. Because that's why he's a Call of Duty pro player. Yeah, the beach is usually where you go to vacation, not, not here. here. Nope. 
<laughs> Do I not have ghost? I think he hurts. We got on board with Swy and he's like, uh, I can't hide from this guy. Sometimes they're gonna be 6 yeah, to 17. It's fucking. <laughs> this is. No, that's what, dude, it's actually funny going over from Scump COV to the team that was getting destroyed. It was just yeah. like kind of quiet comms. Like, it's it's kind of like, hey guys, <laughs> guys, we're going to be in a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> 100% scum, Scump, they've video. destroyed Tim, current <laughs> swag. I 40 like, kills yeah, like, on like Miami. Mount Rushmore with all of their heads on. Yeah. Yeah. Just, the, just Scump and a chopper gunner. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yes, there. he is. Yeah. That is accurate. That is... Truly accurate. Yeah, but it's cool to see the variety of personalities just battling it out on these different maps. So we've Where seen what Armada, mm -hmm. Satellite, <laughs> now we're in Miami. Well, I mean, you look at Satellite, very much, you know, all outside, right? You, you come in here, you have fights at the bar, fights in the hotel, you have fights at the beach. There's just all these different environments that these players are going into. We were what, at the Ultra Facilities, one of the professional teams in the Call of Duty League. It's Benjamin Bantz on your screen now top player in his own right and i think i think it's vance maybe playing on wisdom's account but i believe i believe it looks like it's vance with a controller in hand currently well, you can hear that when you get weak you hear the heartbeat peak pick up it sounds really yeah, cool it does. The, the audio seems very very Ooh, what is this a little artillery strike coming in from oh did he call it in oh no vance Dude, oh, we, no, we've, that we've, is a mistake. We've all been there. We have. The number of times I've done that in something like Domination, where I launch all my streaks, I'm like, oh, it's halftime. I just use those for no reason whatsoever. No I reason. got a couple of kills, but my impact on the objective was minimal. But now to the French sensation himself, Gotaga, one of the most popular gamers in the world. I feel like I've seen him compete in so many different games, but his legend grew in Call of Duty, that's for sure. Yeah, he's just... He's talented. He can he can do it all. She's rocking that 74 U. On board with Tri Match now. He's got the Tundra out. Okay, what is what is his camera setup? Because it looks like he's in the game. How do I do that? Well, he's got a green screen, but he is half of the screen. Yeah, I want you to set that up for me. I'm, why would I do that? I, I don't know, but like it looks like he's in the game. Why did you just assume I, ha I had an expertise in green screens? Joe, you wear glasses. You look like you'd be very tech savvy and ready to set that up for me. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Joe. I'm not going to do that for you whatsoever. Nameless, wouldn't you say he looks a bit like a, like a scientist? Thank you. Nameless looks like a cosplayer from Miami. Like Narcos. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he looks good, but he does. He looks good. I'm not oh, wait, they can't be. With people can't be rage quitting in this. There's no way. <laughs> It looks like uh, game is about to end. Jericho's team, they're going to get the victory. There we go, Jericho. Who had 6,300 damage? Uh, I didn't see. Who that's a, that's a lot. That, that is no a doors. lot. There's no doors. No doors. Who is dominating? Could be Priesta. There's a good chance it's this guy. Okay and there, the he highlighted a, a difference this time. Look at him just no doors. Jericho was talking about the show. No, no doors in the game. You won't be hammering through doors. Doof, doof. And Marksman were three-shotting people. So yeah, no mm. doors. Everybody's smile. learning. We're